What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, I am wearing the same shirt because I'm doing all these videos literally all in one day. Because I need to quit being lazy and get these videos out for you guys. This isn't for me, for you. Anyway, so today's video, by the title, I am finally changing out this cabin air filter. I believe it or not, since the person's owned this vehicle, I haven't changed it out. That filter, that cabin air filter has probably been there for... 15 years, maybe even longer, who knows? Wait, let's do the math again. It's 2021, 2001, 20 years. That cabin filter, that's that's disgusting. And I have the AC blasting and um, the AC blasting and I'm just breathing all that nasty junk, ugh. Anyway, so this is the new cabin air filter Fram and it has that fresh Febreze, yeah, fresh breeze with baking soda something like that the part that's the part number i hope i got the right one and if i didn't i'm gonna be upset but i believe i got this on amazon maybe who knows i could be wrong anyway so all right so if you have anything in the glove compartment like i did take it out yep um, sorry the lighting's not that good. It's in my car. I don't have a light in here. And yeah, so we got two little push-in pins. These little tabs. You're going to push it on the other side. Push it in. And it should. There you go. Clicks out. Then wiggle it out. And it looks something like this. So do it for both sides. There's one right here. Push it on the opposite. There we go. Wiggle it out. There we go. Put that some on the side and this should completely drop. Just like that. Now, the cabin air filter sits right there. Now it is an easy fix. The only thing is that we have this bar right here. You see that? That bar is in our way. So I need to remove that bar. So it looks like we have a 10 millimeter right there. And we have another 10 millimeter. Hopefully you guys can see it. 10 millimeter right there. Now, hopefully, once I remove those two 10 millimeters, there's those two 10 millimeters, ugh, um, this bar could drop, I hope. Um, it looks like the bar goes across. But if all I need is for it to drop or for it to be loose so I could get this little cover off to make room. So we'll see it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take out those two those two 10 millimeters. I just talked about and we'll see what happens All right guys update. So I took off the whole glove box Once you take out this, those two tabs There is a 8 millimeter or Phillips that's connected right underneath this bar Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it connects right underneath here one over there one over there. I took it off now there are plenty of bolts back there. Oh, I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so there is an eight millimeter that I took off, that 10 millimeter, and there's also another eight millimeter back there. I just loosened that one up, okay? I didn't take, out, take it all the way off. Now, on this side, I told you there was a 10 millimeter. I took off this bracket, the one that's connected up there, which is a 10 millimeter up there. No, 12 millimeter. No, no it's not, it is a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter up there, 10 millimeter down there, and then there's also another eight, an, a eight millimeter that connects this little bar to, oh man, there's no lighting right there, man. Let me get my phone. All right, here we go, got my phone. So, they're right there. There's a 10 millimeter and eight millimeter right there that connects to that little brownish or grayish looking bar looking thing. This bar connects to that part over there. So, can you please move? So now, I have plenty of room just to push down and to get that free. 
and that's about it guys so now i'm gonna take this out and i hope it's not a mess but if you guys have a vacuum i suggest getting it to clean that up hey i made you calm down sir so i'm gonna take that out and uh we'll see the mess that comes out and the air filter is out look at how just nasty that thing looks oh my god just me breathing that in Ugh! thank god i'm changing it so this filter this filter this filter just comes out tap it out put in the new one uh make sure you hit the the airflow you see that little little tab right there yep just like that so i'm gonna throw this out vacuum up whatever's in there put on the new filter put it back in and then uh put everything back together so let me do that real quick So I have basically everything put back together. I took off that screw right there. Uh, that one right there as well. That way I was, I'm able to flex this, this panel so that way I can reach those two bolts. So let's see. So there's that 10 millimeter to the right and that eight millimeter right there. Those two you will take off. You will take off that little bar with that 10 millimeter right there. Now on this side, Let's see, hopefully you guys can see it. So you got a 10 millimeter up there in the top. I took that one off. That left one on the left side, that's an eight millimeter. I took that one all the way off. And then there's another eight millimeter to the right. I loosened that one up. I didn't take it off, I just loosened it up. And I was, with that off, I was able to push this down. Now I have everything back together and it's nice and tight. So. Um, only thing that I got to do left, like I said, is put back on the glove box, the two screws, which are right here, the two eight millimeter screws, put it back on and that's about it. Yeah, so once you put on those two screws, that you're pretty much done, put on that glove box, turn on the AC and then hopefully it, I know for a fact I'm going to be breathing a lot better, not that nasty, nasty junk that was in that filter. Um, so yeah guys, like always, subscribe, hit that like, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds for you guys to subscribe. By now, you guys should be subscribed. So subscribe. Hit that like comment. Hit that like comment. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Um, and that's about it. That's pretty much about it. Um, I'm trying to knock out these videos as much as I can. I need to. Because I want to take this thing off-roading. And I have a bunch of parts that I need to do. I can do them today. So hopefully by my next day off, I could do them because I don't need I need to do another video for you guys of me off-roading the CRV. I can't be babying this car, you know. Yes, this is my daily, but I want to see what she could do out on the off-road, somewhat semi-off-roading, you know. Um, this isn't a four x four, so I don't expect it to do some crazy steep hills, you know, but. Um, I do expect it to uh, to do all right. So, yeah, guys. So uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.